Hey guys, I'm at the northern end of San Francisco at Chrissy Field, and I'm here because Theo Janssen has brought his Strandbests here. He is doing an exhibit at the Exploratorium starting this week, uh, and because his bests are wind-powered and they live on the beaches where he makes them, he's brought them here to Chrissy Field, to our beach, to demo them. Um, no, this is the first time they're being shown in San Francisco. This is also the first time I have ever witnessed one in person. I can barely stand it. So understand these are all built completely out of PVC pipe. Every bearing, every attachment, it's incredible. Oh, it is six pairs of legs, 12 separate feet, but each leg, each of the 12 legs is an arrangement of spars, the tail worked out, that move in a very, uh, what do you say, animal-like way. He thinks of these things as an evolution. He is making biological organisms and they are powered by the wind. They have wind stomachs. What looks like crude engineering is in fact hiding a really sophisticated and beautiful, I don't even want to call it a machine, it's, it's an animal. I notice you seem almost like a mother bird. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like it's like they seem like they're taking their first steps. Well, it's more or less it is that way. You could see this as my mental children. Yes. So you have children from below, and you have mental children from above. I hope that this children will be self-sufficient one day so I can kick them out of the door on the beach. <laughs> Make so. them self-replicating? That's, well, that's happening more or less because uh, I put all the secrets of the Strand Beast on my website. I know. So uh, students, they produce a lot of Strand Beasts and they think they're having a good time but the fact is they are used for the reproduction. So they, <laughs> they infect the students with the, 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 the DNA code, you could say. Yeah. And so they're using their students and that works quite fine because there are thousands of strand beasts just made by students. Okay, now I have a technical question. When you've got the feet like this on their arrangement, um, if you wanted to widen the foot, the footprint, do yeah. you widen like this or like this? I would say like this, like that. yeah. Okay. But it, it cannot go too far, otherwise it stumbles over its own feet, right? So, so you, there's a certain restriction on the wideness. Do you have a special heater or do you use a blowtorch to form this? Yeah, blowtorch. So in the beginning I put it too hot yeah. so, and you don't notice it, but after a year everything becomes brittle. Oh! And so then came the last hot period, you could say. <laughs> and that, uh, Picasso had a blue period, you had a less hot period. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm quite lucky that this all happened. I mean, I did. You couldn't predict those the, circumstances. This, yeah. So, I, especially in the museum, the the skeletons, the, the, the extinct animals, they have a sort of visual appearance. I would say. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you so much for bringing these out here and letting us see them. I feel super honored to be able to touch one in person. I've been <laughs> looking at them for so long. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> at this. This is a primary linkage, right? So basically this operates on oscillating cams, a space at 120 degrees around a central shaft. There's six cams, thus two pairs uh, at... It's a long story. <laughs> but a lot happens right here. This is driving both of these legs as it turns and it moves one foot and then the other foot. But because the load is spread, it actually is quite an efficient mover. I'm gonna build one of these.